this is a short drive home. I'm not sure. We're probably about 15 minutes from home. I went out to Walmart to pick up the stuff that I'd ordered for pickup. They did not have the cases of water. They did not have any eggs. They had no toilet paper and no paper towels. No peas and no corn. So I've stopped at three different Dollar Generals and I picked up paper towels and uh, paper napkins because they didn't have nobody's had toilet paper there either. And I couldn't find peas or corn. I don't know. I wouldn't have thought to even um, stock up on peas and corn, but my wife did, and evidently a lot of other people's wives did too. I'm really not terribly concerned. about this COVID-19 virus. Um, I am concerned enough not to go out into public except for worship service on Sunday. And even there I will have my antiseptic handy and not shake hands with anybody and not get within three feet of anybody except I'm in the choir, so I'll be singing in the choir. But all of the other things that we normally do throughout the week, we're not doing. I thought that that was probably the wisest thing, considering that I'm in that group that is uh, very susceptible to dying from this or having the hardest hit of it because I'm 73 years old, have heart disease and diabetes. So, and uh, Ella is also 73 years old and has asthma. So she's in a perilous position as far as this goes because it is a respiratory infection, viral infection. So other than staying home, we're trying not to be overly concerned, but we are being as cautious as we can be. Um, I guess we were better prepared than a lot of people because I do have uh, two or three months worth of freeze-dried food. So. And plus, we've got quite a bit of canned goods and stuff in the freezer now anyway. Uh, about six or eight large cans of uh, canned meat. So I think we're probably pretty well prepared. That Where we were not prepared was paper towels, and that was just a normal stocking item for us. And we ran it, or we have one roll left, so... Uh, now I bought a, a pack of six, so we've got paper towels. They're not the ones that we usually buy. They're not the good bounty. Um, there's some store brand, I guess. But it says six rolls equals 11, so they are tighter wound rolls, larger rolls. I have no idea of their quality beyond that. Um, and as soon as I got out of the stores, I did use uh, hand sanitizer on my hands. And since I have a, a full beard, I also uh, put it on my beard and mustache. Uh, this 
stretch here, there's a whole lot of uh, construction going on. Off to the right, there's a new subdivision going in there. And just here to the left, there's another big subdivision going in. Uh, I think they've got one house framed. Oh, they've got one house built and one framed and it looks like a front and a back on it so this uh, this little area here is growing like crazy upgraded the speed limit in here because up until just about a half mile back it used to all be 35 miles an hour on through here oh there's a good sign for spring blue bonnets that's a hill country specialty they don't grow any place outside of uh, Texas hill country While most of them are a blue with a hint of purple to them, there is a, a variety of a reddish, reddish orangish color and uh, some white ones. It was said that the red ones were uh, developed at Texas A&M. I don't know if that's true or not. Now normally I would have turned there to the left um, because when there's a lot of heavy traffic that one is usually a better better route to take but there is not a lot of traffic it's uh, 20 minutes after 7 if you notice the sky that's the color it's been all day actually it was darker this morning it looked like steel wool oh yes now this section They've got this 35 mile an hour signs still up here. And they put them up for the construction. But for all intents and purposes, the construction is done. All they got to do is move these little orange cones and the barricades up here that are blocking the, that entrance. And that is a finished road and everything, so I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but I don't make those decisions. I like left lane ends. Alright, so we're going from 35 up to 45 again. Noticed that uh, several places they're changing the speed limit in Liberty Hill. Uh, actually, the same road as it goes on in and through Liberty Hill, through Main Street. Uh, it used to be 30 miles an hour on. Main Street, or just just before, just before you get into town, it goes to 30 miles an hour. But then 
you go up past the or up by the elementary school and it went up to 40 miles an hour unless the signs were blinking but now that is 30 miles an hour there there also and all the way up to uh, the intersection with highway 29 so I'm becoming a little more observant of speed signs It is how I'm in Texas and I still have Iowa plates. Um, I don't know if the old saw is true or not that they like to get out of state vehicles. That they're more likely to ticket them for lower speed infractions than they would somebody that had Texas plates. Again, that's just uh, an old thing that I've heard repeated enough times that I don't know whether it's true or not, so I'm passing it on to you as hearsay. Will not hold up in court. And of course, even if it were true, the police would deny that they would target uh, out-of-state vehicles like that. Speaking of police, there was our local uh, Liberty Hill police. I haven't exactly figured out all of the law enforcement agencies in Texas because they've got Texas Rangers, they got Highway Patrol, they have uh, state, county, and local police, and constables. And the rest of them are hired, except constables are elected. So, it, it's confusing to this Iowa boy. But I'm a law-abiding person, so I really don't worry about finding out where their jurisdictions are and where they might over, uh, cross over to each other, or how they might impact me. In our normal week of uh, things, we go to uh, local spot here in Liberty Hill called the Over the Hill Gang, and that meets on Thursday for people that are 50 and over to uh, come and eat, uh, $6 a person, or you can bring a side dish or dessert, you know, something, not just a side dish or dessert for yourself, of course, but one to share. Uh, and then they have a multitude of different games that can be played. So it's a, it's a nice gathering place for us old folks to get together and socialize. But, as I said, due to this uh, coronavirus, we're just uh, going to stay home and play games with each other. I almost said play with each other, but I knew you'd take that wrong, so we're just going to play games with each other. As a matter of fact, uh, we've already played Rummy Cube today. We played a couple rounds of that, and we started playing a Mexican train, but we kind of got derailed. Yes, the pun was intentional. Um, it got to be nap time for Ella. It was nap time for Tom, too, but Tom didn't actually take a nap. Uh, I, I worked on some updating some of my blog material things that happen behind the scenes, not stuff that actually gets published, but uh, setting up some other 
things. Um, by the way, if you're watching this, it uh, means you probably have followed a link on my blog to a YouTube channel. I'm hoping that uh, I have enough memory on this phone to finish the, the filming. Uh, you notice that there are a few curves out here. Had I gone the other way, the way I would have gone had it been busy, uh, you would have found more curves and more hills also. Now, this is Liberty Hill, but it's basically pretty flat ground, but that's only because we're kind of like on a plateau at the top of the hill. Uh, every place, every direction you go except east, you're going downhill. If you're going east, you're actually climbing before you start going downhill. I think by the time you get to Georgetown, we have, you will have uh, descended uh, quite a bit in altitude. All right. Uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? Oh, I don't think I mentioned the eggs I picked up. Walmart was out of eggs. I had ordered 36 uh, eggs. Two 18 count cartons. They were out. They were out of all of their eggs. Uh, I ended up stopping at three uh, Dollar Generals. And at the last one, I found one carton of eggs that had two broken eggs in it. So I told them I would take it if they would discount it, and they did, so I have it. Um, I think I already told you about not being able to find toilet paper, but finding a couple packages of paper napkins. So if it comes down to it, we can do that. Or we can do like uh, our grandson had posted on Facebook that He's just going to use all of the unmatched socks that they have around home. Unfortunately, personally, I only have two unmatched socks. I suppose you could use them and launder them. It's kind of disgusting to think about, but, you know, when my oldest son was little, did cloth diapers and had to wash them, slice the stuff off of them. So I guess I could go back to doing that if I absolutely had to. Of course, growing up, I was in a semi-rural area in Iowa and um, we were poor I didn't know we were poor because everybody else I knew was as poor as we were but uh, sometimes we would run out of toilet paper but there were always newspapers and magazines don't use the slick pages though but if you use the uh, regular paper in those magazines and you crumple them up and rub them back and forth real good they will soften up enough to use for toilet paper just uh, something you might want to know at some point in case that this coronavirus thing goes on forever anyway uh, I'm home so hope you enjoyed the ride